بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد عاصم آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز ڈیو آپس انجینئر گائز ان دس ویڈیو ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو ہاؤ وی کین سیٹ اپ دا ہائیلی اویلیبل ریبٹ ایم پی کلسٹر آن ایمازون ای کی ایس سروس وچ از دی مینجڈ کیوبینیٹی سروس پروائیڈڈ بائی ڈبلیو ایس سو لیٹس بگن سو فار دیٹ پرپز گائز آئی ہیو آلریڈی کریٹیڈ اے ریپو فار یو گائز اینڈ واٹ آئی ہیو ڈن I've spin up EKS cluster through the Terraform and you can simply do that. I've added the code here as well. So we're not going to do uh, the deployment of EKS cluster as in my previous videos. You can watch those, uh, watch, uh, those videos, right? So uh, regarding the deployment of highly available RabbitMQ cluster on GK, I've already created a video for you guys. You can watch that particular video. So this time we are going to set up on EKS. We are going to use the Bitnami uh, Helm charts. So what you need to do, simply navigate to the Bitnami Helm charts and uh, let's navigate to that. And what I'm going to do simply, uh, you need to do uh, download the zip file or simply clone it. So I've already done that. So it is on my desktop. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extract this uh, zip file, right? And from this directory, uh, Bitnami, we are going to simply copy one directory, which is the RabbitMQ. So let's simply copy this guy, and I'm going to paste in my directory, which is actually mounted in the Docker container. And I'm going to remove this guy, right? So I've already taken a shell into this one and let me do ls. So if I do cd into rabbitmq, right? So um, cd into rabbitmq. So this is the one uh, which we have actually moved. So uh, uh, one of the important things uh, from the theory perspective is that, let me show you guys. So uh, one thing I need to tell you that for the dynamic provisioning of um, CSI which is the container storage interface driver um, if it is not installed in your given disk cluster make sure that those are running if those are not available simply you can um, use the helm chart uh, brought by the official AWS so you can install uh, uh, the helm chart in the namespace cube system right and other part uh, which is very important uh, let me show you that uh, are the two policies which are required, uh, which uh, gives actually the permission. So if I navigate to the main TF, this section I've added, uh, which is the Amazon uh, managed uh, EKS cluster policy and Amazon service policy. So if you're uh, using the existing cluster or you're deploying manually to make sure these existing policies should be, uh, should be attached to the node group, right? So uh, I have done that. So let's uh, go to our main part, which is the deployment of RabbitMQ cluster, right? So this is our cluster. We are using the version 1.23, uh, right? And now what we are going to do. So if I uh, open this in VS Code, okay, uh, navigate to the RabbitMQ and Okay, and okay, this is the one which we have actually uh, moved, and this is the file uh, or repo I created. So first thing first, uh, this part I've already done. So if uh, you need to do this part regarding the CSA driver, you can do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, do Helm uh, repo list to make sure that the Bitnami um, repo, charts repo uh, is present. So I have both repos uh, already available. Now what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do Helm repo update. So simply do that. And other part we are going to do is simply um, repo add, which is already there. So let me show you guys, but it will say that uh, repo is already there. So just for the demo, I'm doing that, you see skipping already existing so um, you are going to do helm dependency build in the same directory right and let's do that what it does it is going to create one charge directory in that particular chart charge directory it will uh, download the relevant dependent helm chart right and 
what we are going to do we are going to export the username password and the airline cookie which is used by uh, the RabbitMQ, right and simply we are going to export it you can definitely update these values according to your requirement and uh, now we are going to simply uh, do the deployment and we are going to do uh, the deployment highly available deployment of three replicas in the namespace RabbitMQ, and the chart name is going to be RabbitMQ, right and we are going to override some of the default values with these values so policy uh, for uh, port management policy is going to be parallel as provided by the bit timing official documentation regarding the high availability you can read all those i've already added the uh, relevant link for you guys so simply what we are going to do let's try to uh, deploy that if everything goes well we should have this successful deployment in our kubernetes cluster and the storage size is going to be 10 gigs as i already mentioned here uh, this is the one so the persistent size definitely you can set according to your need and uh, by default persistence enable is true but i just make sure uh, to mention here so we can uh, be very sure that there is a persistent storage right and matrix enable true uh, let's try to see the uh, Help chart is successfully deployed. So let's navigate to the section. What I've done, I've imported my cluster here um, in the lens. And if I navigate to the port section, right, and simply what I'm going to do, navigate to the Rabbit MQ, you will see three stateful sets uh, in the provisioning state. So if I navigate to the storage section and persistent volumes, you see uh, three 10 gigs volumes are found. And uh, now it's time to uh up, i mean it is going to automatically update uh these stateful sets and you will be seeing that our pods are going to be in green status or in running status and other thing i need to show you regarding the uh, stateful sets although it is showing here that this is the stateful set right and this is the one but uh, you can see from here as well stat for set so currently we have zero but shortly you will see that it is going to be three into three and if i navigate to the port section you see two of the ports are already running so what i'm going to do uh, and in fact all three are running so take a shell or in fact um, do the port forwarding to uh, one of these guys and so I'm going to use this uh, port 1562, sorry, 15672. And let's say try to use port uh, 9090. It is going to be uh, mapped to the port 15672, right? And we are going to do the start uh, port forwarding. You can do the same stuff with the CLI as well. So, um, but I would prefer both. Uh, tools learning regarding the cli along with the uh, ua tools so it gives more visibility and uh, the management of your eks cluster is going to be quick so uh, let's connect you see um, we are able to see our three nodes so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you the update uh, one thing regarding the um, you know the volume size uh you cannot uh, increase the volume size for instance if i change it to 20 gigs there is a, a restriction added by the bit timing in the charts so uh to make sure data should be protected so what we are going to do if we need more uh disk spaces and we can add simply more uh, replicas of that and let's try to copy that and i'm going to simply copy this guy and I'm going to paste it here so if you see previous command is this and i'm going to simply uh, change the command with the five replicas so not much big difference but you will see that the provisioning of two ports are going to be available along with the 20 gigs additional um, ebs volumes are going to be available so from the ui if you navigate to the section volumes you will see um, 
10 more gigs simply click the size and you see uh, 10 10 10 30 currently we have 30 we have just provision uh, more two ports and these are the dynamically provision uh, abs volume so uh, it will be shortly available and we will be able to see uh, all these three ports here as well as the refresh uh, after five seconds is already uh, done so uh, what we need to do uh, simply navigate to the section in the lens navigate to the port section and you see the provisioning of two ports are going to be done and if i navigate to the persistent volume claims you see two of the 20 gigs volumes are already added and if i simply refresh it you will see uh, 10 10 uh, gb already added to so total of 50 and simply what i'm going to do and uh, let me show you this part so if i navigate to the port section you see uh, these ports are going to be join the cluster and from the ui what i'm going to do i'm going to show you uh, this section so uh you see after five seconds it is automatically updated so one two three four five we have five node cluster uh, available for us so uh that is it guys uh regarding this video and you can see other stuff uh, i mean in trail you can do the testing uh by regarding the producer and consumers and uh, do the stuff regarding the ch in the channels so if you navigate to this uh, section feature durable is equal to true so uh, that is it regarding this video if you like the video please like share and subscribe the channel and have a nice day thank you